Welcome, and thanks for meditating with Abide. For more guided Christian meditations, download the Abide app in the iTunes or Google Play Store. Do you ever struggle with anger? Well, like a beautiful diamond, character is formed by pressure and polished by friction. A person doesn't just wake up one morning as a man or a woman of character. Character is developed by adversity. But when we let our eyes drift from God, that adversity can often lead to frustration and anger. So today's verse, it talks about anger. Have you ever been accused of having an angry spirit or temperament? How did that accusation make you feel? Well, join me as we meditate, reflect, and pray about fighting against anger from Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 9. But first, join me in a time of opening prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, it's just hard to watch the news and not be faced with the anger in our world. Not righteous anger, but anger rooted in sin, evil, hatred. Lord God, please expose anger in my life. Leave no margin in my life for anger to take hold, but expose it and remove it. I know this won't be easy. So by your authority, cover my time with you with the light, the blood, and the cross of Jesus. Remove evil today and just still my heart before you. Bring me peace in Christ, in whose name I pray. Amen. You know, often our light, simple prayers are attempts to heal superficial wounds. But I hope this time of meditation is a time of healing deeper wounds, angry wounds. So as we begin, an important time here for deep, relaxing breaths, peaceful breaths today. And just settle into wherever you are present with God in his midst and once again your hands placed softly over your heart because that's where we will begin before going much further Ask the Spirit here to scan your life. Is there any anger blocking you from encountering God's love today? Maybe this very moment. Well, confess that to God right now, right here. And then ask Him and thank Him for His grace, His mercy, His love, His peace, and forgiveness. God is peace, and the Spirit guides us into his peace, and then Jesus embodies his peace. So listen carefully to every detail as I read from Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 9. Be not quick in your spirit to become angry, for anger lodges in the hearts of fools. Once again, that passage is short but filled with power. What stood out to you? Listen to it again carefully. Be not quick in your spirit to become angry, for anger lodges in the heart of fools. What moved in your heart? Well, linger there. Give it your deeper attention and ask God to show you how he will apply this passage to your life today. What did you think of the word lodge? How anger lodges into your heart? What does that word mean? Picture it. Feel anger lodging. 
anger finding a home in your heart, taking up permanent residence. Ask the Spirit here to examine your heart for any anger, any hint of it, any at all. Listen again as I read from Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 9. Do not be eager in your heart to be angry, for anger dwells in the heart of fools. What did you hear this time? Something affirming from before? Or something fresh and new? What one particular characteristic of Christ did you most identify with in that passage? Focus on that now in even deeper meditation. This translation said, do not be eager to get angry. The earlier translation said, be not quick to anger. So what is the opposite of angry to you? Ask the Spirit here to bring that word to you. What is the opposite and where does that new word fit into your life right now? Anger dwells in the heart of fools. That can't be more clear, can it? Do you let anger direct your thoughts or actions ever? Well, God's scripture says, you're a fool. What is foolish about letting anger control you? What can happen with unchecked anger? I think we know the answer, but let your mind wander there. What does that look like, unchecked anger? And how does it feel? Listen one and final time as I read and you meditate on Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 9. Only fools get angry quickly and hold a grudge. You know, James wrote his epistle to Jews in order to help them grow stronger in their new Christ-centered faith. His letter emphasizes how good deeds will flow easily out of solid faith. I can't even imagine the persecution that they must have endured. But James says to them, My dear friends, you should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. If you are angry, you cannot do any of the good things that God wants done. You must stop doing anything immoral or evil. Instead, be humble and accept the message that has planted in you to save you. What a beautiful statement for our world today. But before you judge the world, invite the Spirit to examine your own heart once again. How can you be more slow to speak, more slow to get angry, to stop evil in your life and be more humble? Soak in those things right now. Reflect, confess, 
and meditate on how to live the life that James mentions. What did the Spirit reveal in your heart? Maybe a recent incident, a person. What effect did anger have on you, on your witness and testimony? And how does it feel to face that now? Stay before God here in quiet meditation and confession. What are any lingering thoughts and feelings, maybe convictions or fears, that remain from your time in meditation? We'll offer them now in a time of reflective prayer. Join me now in a time of closing prayer. Dear Lord God, help me to not be eager in my heart to be angry. Resentful, deep-seated anger does not produce the righteousness of God because anger dwells in the hearts of fools. When I am quick-tempered, it exposes me as a fool. It exalts my foolishness for everyone to see. But Lord God, I don't want to be a fool. I want to be your child, your disciple, to follow you in all I think and say and do. So only by your strength can I cease from anger and abandon wrath. I know that anger only leads to evil, but this is hard. Anger rises up in me sometimes and quickly, and when I least expect it, so quickly. Give me your strength so that I will be slow to anger. And give me greater understanding of my emotions so I can profit from self-control. I can't do this on my own, but only by your strength and your grace, your mercy, and faith in your Son. And I offer and pray this now, in his name, your Son, my Savior, and my Lord. Amen. So we're almost done, but before rushing off too quickly into a world that often brings anger, Ask the Spirit to reveal any angry thoughts or desires or actions in your life today. And pray, too, for someone to have the courage to point them out in you. I hope this search and reflection will bring you into that place of peace and alignment with God as you meditate and abide in Christ. We hope this meditation brought you peace. For more Christian meditations, Download the Abide app in iTunes or the Google Play Store.